Hello again, you know what I'm going to say, here we go again. Sony have revealed the six free games we'll be receiving as PS Plus subscribers for the month of June 2018. As always, these games will be available from around midday on the first Tuesday of the month. This time around, that's June 5th. Ready? Let's do this. Let's start with the offerings on PS4, and up first is the exceptional XCOM 2. Set 20 years after we lost the events of the first game, we now must overthrow our alien overrulers. If you don't know XCOM, it's a turn-based tactical role-playing game with devastating risk-reward elements. Let me break it down a little more. Each of the characters you are given can be customised before being sent into battle. Renaming characters after your best friend's dog can be soul-destroying when they die in combat, because that's it, permadeath. The game continues without them. Each successful mission they undertake leads to incremental improvements to their character and loadout, leading to even more risk reward in the following mission. But don't worry, unless you're playing on Iron Man mode, you can save before each mission. Over about 30 hours, you'll win back the world and adapt to higher level enemies in multiple mission types. And guess what? It's procedurally generated, so you'll never truly know the map layout. The reviews range from 7 out of 10 to 9s and above from GameSpot, Game Informer and IGN. I quite like the art style, but I know it doesn't look fantastic to everyone, but I beg you, give this one a try. Next up is Trials Fusion from back in 2014. It's a platformer motocross racing game which is ridiculously fun and frustratingly challenging in places. Each bike has different weight and power attributes which means you'll need to master many vehicles to truly beat this game. The physics, although arcadey, hold a level of realism which may force you to fixate on one bike before trying others. The stunt bike flips around like a gymnast, whereas the heavier bikes require accurate weight distribution. You'll be torn with this one, you'll be ecstatic by making a checkpoint, and then moments later you'll be devastated by an error of judgement. I think what I'm saying is there's more under the hood than a typical racing side-scroller. Trials Fusion received solid 8s across the review board. Over on the PS3 is the solid third-person tactical shooter Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Oh my god, that's a freaking mouthful. It's essentially a cover shooter with the ability to switch to first-person view. One of the greatest additions in Future Soldier in my eyes was the adaptive camouflage, allowing for impressive stealth gameplay. If you've played other Ghost Recon games, the sync shot is here, allowing you and your squad mates to synchronise shooting people in the face. Lovely. <laughs> the campaign can be played cooperatively too, which makes it a far better experience. Back in 2012, Future Soldier averaged between 7.5 and 8 out of 10. I'll be honest here, if the PS4 had backwards compatibility, I'd be downloading this one in an instant. Such a shame. Game number 4 is Zombie Driver HD Complete Edition, which as the name suggests is a vehicular zombie combat game. From a top down perspective your job is to rescue civilians, collect upgrades and slaughter countless zombies. There's 8 vehicles to choose from, with each one possessing slightly different attributes like top speed, armour and number of seats needed to save more civilians. Zombie Driver is a different take on the zombie apocalypse genre. Gonna try it? I'd love to know in the comments. Let's quickly jump over to the unloved Vita, and first up is Atomic Ninjas, which is a multiplayer action platformer. Although there is a single player component, it's all about co-op, or rather counter co-op, as you attempt to subtly push your friend into a trap or two. There are 8 ninjas to choose from, one of which is a good old zombie. They get everywhere, those little buggers. And finally, game number 6 is Squares, which looks as fun as watching paint dry, but what it lacks in any visual appeal at all, it tries to make up in puzzles, mainly ones that test your reflexes and speed of reactions. Maybe something to try on your commute to work or school. What do you think? Okay, it's a bit of a hit and miss month, but I'm delighted to get another try at XCOM 2, in which my main character Captain Buttmunch died after 40 missions. I never really got over that one. Oh, and Trials Fusion looks like a blast too. But my opinion means diddly squat. What are you downloading this month? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time. Oh, I miss you, Captain Buttmunch.